I don't really know how I feel. I'm glad that I'm kind of. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm kind of glad Biden's out, and we're actually having like an authentic. The world mm-hmm. is an ending election. Yeah. Um, I don't understand the thought process between behind Bobby Kennedy feeling the need to endorse Trump. I think a if it wasn't already clear, Bobby's clearly mentally ill. Um, In what and ways? I liked him. Like he's actually, I, I would be concerned if I was around him for my safety. You think he's like a rapist or something or a murderer? No, 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 no. no. Just because his name is Kennedy, come on now. Oh, um, you think the CIA is going to get no, you? No, okay. it, it was it was a kid. No, no. Okay. I, uh, I I just think he's losing it, like more so than he had been over the entire time he was running. Is like, it on ever the since that COVID stuff that he lost you? No, no, no. I think like mentally he's deteriorating in front of us, like even more so than Biden or even more so than Trump. Oh, so you're not saying like his like, opinions are crazy, like his family? You no, no, no. Actually, just I think he is like. He had already snapped, and then we're having conversations about him with a bear for some ungod. It's like, why? Yeah, Are you just like this de- de- desperate in need for attention? And then the media, it's like, he was running for pre- He was pulling third cover about something serious, but no, we're going to talk about him and a falcon. Um, And then, I mean, I don't know. I, I, th- I, I, I did have some hope, because I think in 2008... Obama had considered him for a position. Oh, really? And, I didn't know that. Yeah. And I thought, okay, maybe they'll just throw him a bone, you know? Like, give him yeah. something that isn't too serious. Like, he's an environmental order. He does actually know what that is. I thought the Harris campaign was going to do that. I'm not surprised that they didn't. Yeah. But I don't think Trump's going to do anything other than give him this, like, ceremonial thing be funny if he gave them nothing though remember how he did Mitt Romney and like a few other people when he won and he was like oh you want to come flirt with me and press with me and maybe I'll give you a job not that'd be the best I think but I think that's what this is I I do I really think that's what this is and Tulsi's the same way I'm like I don't she had met with Steve Bannon in 2016 and nothing I and I think that Trump does this to people just to get the internet people going Mm -hmm. you know placate to that and then you know he makes them bend the knee kiss the ring right and then nothing actually ever comes with it it's kind of like Trump going on all these like you know podcasts now and I'm like well I mean I, I know he's being authentic but I don't think he's doing it for anything other than just riling up the internet Oh, well, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't listen to Theo Vaughn on a regular basis. I can tell you that. No. He was like, no. you did cocaine? Yeah. yeah, he did cocaine. He did drugs. Yeah, sure. What, he, he, he's either him. a really good salesman, which he is, and that was a very authentic um, reaction. I don't know, though, if empathy is actually something Trump genuinely is an emotion he's probably ever experienced. I doubt it. Mm. But... Um, it's like I was telling I was telling this person who is like very much the stereotypical online boy type person, right? I don't know what to call them. The manosphere. An e-boy. <laughs> yeah, an e-boy. And he was telling me we were out at this convention and he was explaining to me that, you know, something, something, something. And then Wait, the next you, went, day he, you went to one of the conventions? No, I was at a convention. Oh, a convention, I'm sorry. The convention. I got all no, excited no. for a second. I don't think I would want to go to honestly the Trump the Republican one would have been fun. I have to admit, <laughs> it's a freak show. <laughs> it would have been like well, somebody had a really good take. It was like going to Hot Topic or WrestleMania. <laughs> it's like it all was. we needed was Guns and Roses to come out at the end. Now that you know where we've been. Find out where we're going. Tune in to Ladies Love Politics, where you can stay informed without going insane.